Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Hugo. This is Times of the Pastime. And that's right, I'm indoors today. It's still a beautiful day. We're still talking baseball. Well, mostly talking about baseball. Uh, today's gonna be a little different. Not only am I indoors, I'm gonna try to knock this out in just one take. You know me, I love editing and all that good stuff, but I'm just gonna knock this out. I gotta head out in a few minutes. I'm gonna be away for a few days. I'm gonna still try to tune in and watch as many videos as possible, but I'll be back next week. And I have uh, a few video responses to do before Wednesday, because that's the deadline for just about all of them. So stay tuned for that. But today I'm doing a video response for my good friend, my brother from another mother, Robert Segati, BKA, the commenting collector. That's right, and I sat in this very seat and did a collector's chat with him. And uh, that was fun. If you haven't checked that out, he's uh, he's done a couple of cents. And the latest one is with uh, Orlando, uh, Collector's Dream. So check that out. It was a great interview. It, it's well worth your time. So um, Robert is um, a great dude, a great channel, very entertaining. He he's collects a variety of things. And one of those things is just sealed packs. So he fights temptation to not open those packs. You know, and that's what his challenge is to us, to show us to show you guys what we have, um, you know, that we fight temptation to open uh, things like this, like packs, you know, I've shown these before, 87, 88 and 89 tops packs. These are the years I really started collecting and I haven't had those too long. That was a gift for my sister, but stuff like that, stuff that you haven't opened and you just been fighting temptation. Well, I'm gonna start with ladies first, okay? This is, I like Sports Illustrated for kids and I like the cards. And this is Simone Biles, 2013, uh, Sports Illustrated for Kids. This was taken out of the magazine. And, um, you know, it's got Marcus Mariota there and Max Scherzer, but that is the card I got this for. And, uh, you know, I like cards by themselves. So I have felt some temptation to get that, you know, rip it at the perforation. And another one that I really fought because I, um, this is one of my favorite cards and this is one of the, more uh, valuable pieces in my collection. And that is a Serena Williams 1999 rookie card right here with uh, the Sports Illustrated for Kids. And I love this one. It's got some of my favorite players, Ricky in the Mets uniform, Mo Vaughn with the Angels, and Vinny Castilla with the Rockies. But this card right here, this is the one that, you know, a lot of people seek out. Uh, I like having the, the uncut sheet, but I do prefer cards by themselves and that's how I collect. I actually have a little PC of female tennis players. As you can see, I just, uh, these all sports illustrated for kids and I just uh, collected these for the years and uh, I like to have my cards like this. So been fighting temptation to get that Serena out of there and you know, grade it or whatever because it's just a high demand card. But um, now let's go into baseball. As you know, I'm a Red Sox fan. We know I'm repping the Mariners in Griffey today. My guy right here with the glare right over my shoulder. But all right, so the Red Sox, having a 13-year-old son who hasn't been around the hobby most of his life, for him, it's kind of weird that I have stuff sealed still, like especially things like this, toys. He thinks it's really weird. It's hard to explain to him why a grown man has a toy and it's still sealed. So uh, here's my Nomar starting lineup from 1998. Had this for about 25 years or so, um, and it's never gonna be open. It's just gonna stay there. I mean, I've been tempted though, because especially recently, I, you know, I like bobbleheads and things like that. So I thought it'd be cool to just have them laid out like this, but I mean, I've held out this long, you know I mean? Come on, what's, I don't know. It's kind of weird, yeah. I don't know how to explain it to him, why I still have it. Now this one is more likely to be open. This is an Uno uh, Red Sox edition. You see some of the players from back then. I think this is the 07, 08 team. It's got David Wells, it's got Boomer, Keith Folk. Is that Matt Clement? Oh yeah, Veritek and who is this guy? Trot Nixon and of course Manny right there. So I um, haven't opened this one. Thinks it's strange, he loves Uno. He wants to play Uno all the time. We have a regular Uno. So I'm like, you know what? We're gonna keep this sealed. So, you know, maybe someday in a pinch and uh, or we lose the other one, or if I get another one of those and I have those, then Uno will get open and the other one will stay sealed. So, um, I may have shown some packs before on my, my channel. 
this, you know, gifts for my sister. These are stadium club packs. This was a again, gift from my buddy Shane. And I never opened a Ted Williams uh, pack before, so I'm, I'm tempted to open this one just to see. Uh, and of course, uh, a lot of baseball packs. Got some rack packs. And these three. Haven't opened these yet. Uh, this one's. Check that out, Rob. For you. Got a Tom Kelly. Of course, the champ with the twins in 87 and 91. But got that one sealed. What else do I have? Oh, I love stickers. Um, we're kind of like the weird family in the neighborhood. I put stickers on my trash can, so on trash day everyone like kind of rolls by the house and tries to read what's on our trash can. Kind of strange, I know, but I think I, uh, I peel stickers and I just stick on my stuff. I, I can't help it. I've always had that, uh, but I've been fighting temptation to put that on the trash can. Just kidding, Yankee fans. All love for you guys. No, I'm going to keep this one like this, but um, yeah, I never, never opened that one, never undid that one. I don't know why. I've had these Simpson stickers since the 80s, <laughs> I think 89, these stickers are from, uh, 90, 1990. So these have just been uh, with me for a while, never opened those. Uh, I still have stickers, I don't know what to do with these. I'm not tempted to undo these, I'm just looking for the right spot from good friends in the hobby. Um, scratch offs, scratch offs are, of course, you know, something that we, um, you just want to scratch it. you want to see what you've won or in this case back in i think this is like 1994 upper deck these guys were on top of the baseball world griffey and juan gone juan gonzalez and inside is like this game you can play defense and offense and i've never scratched it so that's still intact so quite temptation there and i uh, that just about does it i think all right i got some something silly to show y'all this is, isn't really Fighting Temptation, but I still have it sealed. It's just, uh, I got this for the ridiculousness of it. All right, so check this out. I got this Nolan Ryan ball. It's kind of cool. You know, Nolan Ryan Express there, and it's got his little signature on top right there. So um, what's funny about this is the back has this certificate of authenticity, and it says this certificate guarantees that this baseball there's the authentic facsimile signature of Nolan Ryan. That is an authentic facsimile signature. And I still have it sealed. I thought it was so ridiculous. I got another one and then the display case. Look at that. Oh yeah. That is an authentic facsimile signature, guys. And I have two of them because it's so cool. I fought the temptation to not get it, but I gave in and bought that. I have other balls similar to that. Then I still seal. Check these out. I dropped that. I have a Sandy Koufax like that. I mean, they're kind of cool, but the authentic facsimile signature is what gets me. Steve Carlton, Nolan Ryan, and Tom Seaver. And I have a little display case, a oh, display thing for them. Like you just put those on there. I'm sure it would make my room look really cool, but I'm just tempted to just give these away. All right, so that does it. This has been fun, guys. I did it. I knocked it out. One take, no editing. My next video will have a lot more editing. Tune in for that. It's going to be ridiculous. And um, I'll tell you a little bit more about it when, when I film it. So uh, this was it. Thanks, Rob. Um, this is a fun contest. I'm going to keep fighting the temptation to not open these things. Some will probably, oh wait, I almost forgot. This is a big one. All right, so I like to crack slabs, all right? So I've done a silly video here, of course, uh, a few months back for a, another VR for Theo, Clemente Collector, and I cracked out a BGS slab and I sung Sweet Caroline because I'm a goofball. Um, I've been tempted ever since I've gotten this card to crack it out, especially it's in a GMA slab. I don't care about the grade. Who cares? This is a buyback autograph of Kinseiko numbered out of 43. And I just want this card by itself. Like, I don't need it to be graded. And I have for a temptation to break this, but this is a very likely candidate to be broken. So, one of these two, you're going to see it in my video one of these days. I'm either going to play Uno or I'm going to bust this out and have it just by itself so okay so that does it i promise thanks for tuning in guys 
Have a good weekend, and I will see you soon. Take care. Always, Rob would say, good collecting.